It's like my American dream to have a show like this happen here. From stage to screen and back again, this time with songs. It's been more than three decades since the world's first, the world first saw real women have curves. Now the musical version is making its world premiere at the American Repertory Theater in Cambridge, and it's putting the story of Latina women of all shapes and sizes in the spotlight. My mission for the last 10 years has been to find musicals um, that tell the story of, of, of brown people um, because I want, them, I want them to see themselves on stage. So many Latinas don't get opportunities to be on stage um, and this is the one show where they get to star and feel good about themselves and get to play a lead instead of just a supporting character in the background. Playwright Josefina Lopez was just 18 years old when she started to write the semi-autobiographical Real Women Have Curves. What's amazing is that the story, even though it's so personal, it's universal because it's about believing that you deserve better and that you don't have to carry any shame because there's nothing wrong with you. You are whole, you are enough, and you are beautiful. Her family came from Mexico, and Lopez was undocumented for 13 years, sewing alongside her mother in a factory. At first, I didn't like it because, you know, here I am, all my friends are off to the East Coast going to college, and I'm stuck in a sewing factory. And then I got a real education about what it means to be a woman, a real woman. And I had this incredible experience where I got to see the value and the power of women working together. Estela, we can do this, okay? Director and choreographer Sergio Trujillo saw that power on the page. It's about family. It's about really being true to yourself and living your dreams. And you look at all these bodies and you go, God, they're all real women. But look at how different women's bodies are, and that's what's beautiful. It's like we're all different works of art. While Real Women has been a successful play and a Sundance Film Festival winning movie starring America Ferreira, Lopez says she always dreamed it would be adapted into a musical. To finally see my story on stage and like this makes me feel heard and seen. Because when you're undocumented, you really start to question whether you are a real person. And we're so hungry to see ourselves for, for who we really are. Because I tell people, look, it takes so much dignity and courage and resiliency to always be the bad guy in somebody else's story. We, we have to know who we are, and we have to be able to say, that's not us. That's something Trujillo, who also grew up undocumented, can relate to. The word illegal, um, you know, I'm still, <clears throat> to this day, incredibly um, affected by it. It could bring great pain, you know. It, it's the duality of, of having to be always in secrecy, you know, to never be able to really be. Um, you know, that takes a toll. I write the stories that I needed to see when I was 18 years old. So it makes me so happy to know that someone who's undocumented, who's 18, whom I get to see this, may finally be heard and seen and know that they matter. So it's, it's, it's really beautiful. Then maybe so you can see Real Women Have Curves, the musical, at the Loeb Drama Center in Cambridge through January 21st. You can see the passion behind this project, and uh, it's supposed to be a great show. And for it to have another life yes. is remarkable.